the variable p varies directly as the square of q. If p equals 24 when q equals 4, what is the value of p when q equals 10? So um, let's start here by writing out our um, problem. Again, watching out for whether the question or varies inversely. And um, I'm going to start myself by writing d equals kn. And again, then the variable p varies directly as the square of q is our immediate setup. And we do have some values here to put in. Because what the problem says, if you're looking at it on your screen, I'm just going in the order that I have on my screen, but it says if p equals 24 when q equals 4, so we need to square that. And now what's going to happen is we're going to solve. So this becomes 24 equals k times 16. What we're solving for is the constant of variation, which is the k. And then we're going to use k because k applies for all situations in this case. So we're going to divide by 16 from both sides. And use your calculator, use Desmos if you can't do it in your head. I'll even use a decimal to get the 1.5. But now that we know 1.5, we need to go back to the formula P equals KQ squared. And I'll just show the problem again. The problem says, what is the value of P when Q equals 10? Well, now what we know is we know that q is 10, so this is going to be 10 squared. And we're going to take the value of 1.5, and we're also going to put that into the problem. So we get p equals 1.5 times 10 squared. And even though we can probably do this, we can just type it in 1.5 times 10 squared. And that gives us 150. So P equals 150. The last problem of direct variation is um, the one I'm going to be showing you here. And I may or may not be able to draw this one in. Um, I have pulled these problems up on my iPad. But it says use the drawing tools. And I have a little bit of trouble using the drawing tools on my iPad. I do better with the cursor. But it might be nice if you could see the problem here. And it says the Amador family pays $7.50 per thousand cubic feet of natural gas. The total cost T varies directly as the number of thousand cubic feet of natural gas G used. And it says, draw a graph that shows the proportional relationship between T and G. It varies directly. And just a little bit of background information on this as I um, pull my paper up a little bit. And that is, again, that the total cost, which for whatever reason they used T instead of C, the total cost varies directly as the number of thousand cubic feet of gas. So there's the direct um, the direct variation formula for this particular problem. Now, what we know is that the cost is seven dollars and fifty cents per um, it says varies directly as the number of thousand cubic feet. So the reason that I put one in there instead of 1,000 is because the units for G are in terms of a thousand cubic feet. So when we look at this here and we divide both sides by one, we get 750 
and I am going to write it as 1 over 1 because what this is is its rise over run. It's going to be the slope. Now it's very hard to use that number on this particular problem based on the units in, um, in the graph that we are provided here. But I do want to say one more thing uh, that I I don't know that I remembered. I'm sure I knew it at one point, but I did not remember it. But in direct variation, the graph must go through the point zero zero. It is in the tutorial again that's where I got that information, I did not remember that. But as I pull my iPad back up here, then one particular thing, can get this to slide up here, and again, I have a lot of trouble drawing this, but my first point that I'm going to put on here is zero, zero. It's very hard for me to do 750 over 1 because of our units. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got units in one. On the x-axis, we've got units of one on the y-axis. So I wondered if I could rewrite this in a little bit better format, the 750 over one. Well, 750 over one is the same thing as 15 over two. And all that I did is I multiplied 750 times two and 1 times 2, and once I multiply those again, it's still rise over run, which is still representing 750 over 1, but I'm going to start at 0, 0, and again, I, this one gives me trouble because it doesn't have me, doesn't have points that I can use on here, but if I start my line here, I'm going to start at 0, 0, and then I'm going to go up 15 over 2, so I'm going to be coming in right here, if you can see it, let me try with my pencil, 15, rise 15 over 2, again, I do a lot better with the cursor than my finger on the iPad, 15 over 2, please work, please work, please work, and I'm close, no, I'm pretty close. I missed it just a little bit, but you get the idea of what you have to do with a cursor and maybe you're, you are quicker with the mouse.